I can use that. Welcome to Sean Word Draws. I am Sean Word, and today we'll be answering the age old question What can I make out of that? Today, we're going to see what we can make from a Jenga block, which means we will be carving. I'll be using an X Acto knife, some sandpaper, and a few other tools to see what we can accomplish. I'll be honest, I have very little experience carving. One time when I was younger, a little boy, I tried to use a knife to make another knife out of wood because knife children and knife parents sounded cool as a boy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I was a boy after all. <sighs> the memories. Anyways, because I have very little experience, I do expect to cut myself a lot. I do expect to make a lot of mistakes, but it, most importantly, I do expect to have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy the ride as much as I do. Let's get started. I am a firm believer that all good projects start with a good plan. So naturally, I turned to my sketchbook first. The jingle block had perfect proportions for a small totem pole. I used my dogs and chickens as inspiration for the piece. Because carving is a 3D medium, I went ahead and sketched each figure from multiple angles. It was very important for me to get the proportions of everything just right. I had only a limited space to work with after all. To help get the sizes right, I traced the Jenga block from the front and side angles, and then I sketched a final design there. I decided to use my final sketch as a template for the Jenga block. To do this, I copied the sketch onto the other side of the paper. Then I cut out the design and taped it to the Jenga block. Finally, I traced over the drawing one more time to transfer the image to the wood. Forty-three million likes for an egg? Well, I can do that. Come on, little guy. One picture's all I need. <gasps> Dang it! That was my last egg! My plan was to start by carving just the silhouette of the totem pole. Since carving is new to me, my goal was to break things down into manageable chunks. Just being able to focus on the silhouette of the piece made it a lot easier for my mind to comprehend how everything would work out in the end. Areas that I could carve with the grain, such as the sides of the piece, were much easier and smoother than when I had to cut against the grain. Also, because the block that I was carving was so small, many times I found it very challenging to find a good grip. I had to be very careful not to carve off an important piece of the totem pole, or an important piece of my hand. Okay, so here's what I have so far. The silhouette came out really nice, and now I'm going to start working on making everything 3D. It's been pretty easy up to this point, but I am a little nervous about this next part to be honest. 
Okay, let's do it! Just like when carving the silhouette of the figure, I started by sketching a basic template of where I planned to carve out the side of the figure. One thing that I really enjoyed about carving versus traditional drawing was that I had to work a lot slower. I know that doesn't sound like a positive thing, but the slower pace of the carving gave me a chance to visualize where and how to carve more troublesome and detailed areas. It also helped me to catch possible mistakes ahead of time. I carved most of the figure with my X-Acto knife, however there were some places, such as the eyes, where I relied on a rotary tool instead. Though to be honest, you could probably get away with doing the whole thing just with an X-Acto knife if that's all you have. My motto is, if you have it, use it. If you don't have it, use something else. All right, it feels like it took forever, but the totem pole is finally carved. I'm very happy with where we are right now, but there is still one step that we need to do. We need to paint this thing. Well, you know what they say, there's no time like the present. Let's get started. Getting ready to paint, it was immediately clear that my original sketch designs would be too detailed for such a small figure. So I took a picture of the carved figure and made a design in one of my art programs to use as a template. I started by priming the figure, then I coated it in a caramel color. I would have just painted the designs directly onto the bear figure, but it just looked too faded as it was. The primer and paint also helped to hide some of the accidental nicks and cuts I had made on the figure while carving. Finally, I painted the designs onto each of the totem pole characters to create a terrific tiny totem pole. And here it is people, my finished totem pole carved from a Jenga block. Overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. There were a few points in the process where I thought I'd cut off a little bit too much. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make this as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and hitting that notification bell. Any way that you can support the channel helps as always. And as always, go out and make your own art. Show me what you can make from a Jenga block. If you do, please be careful. Please do what I didn't and go watch somebody who actually knows how to carve. Watch some videos on safety. Take your time with it. I could have avoided plenty of cuts on my fingers, which look kind of like diced sausages now because of all the not safety procedures that I was using in my thing. All right, guys. Again, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.